election fraud, 10 major reforms are needed to restore trust in our democracy. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Americans' faith in the integrity of our democracy has been shaken by allegations of serious irregularities in the recent election. Just how severe these mistakes and frauds were is the subject of debate, but there is no doubt that changes need to be made. These basic reforms would command widespread support. Officials of both parties should be allowed to personally observe every step in collecting and counting absentee or mail-in ballots. Philadelphia, for instance, notoriously block Republicans from monitoring the process of the enormous number of mail-ins, especially the validity of signatures and postmarks. In the same vein, poll watchers from both parties should be permitted in every precinct on Election Day itself. States should also provide training for poll watchers. States must every year be required to credibly clean up voting rolls of those who have died or moved elsewhere. The sloppiness here in too many areas is appalling, making voter fraud all too possible. Mail-in ballots should only be sent at the request of a registered voter. No more mass mailings that are also invitations for a widespread fraud. One friend of mine in Pennsylvania received five ballots. Mail-in should be received by Election Day or not be counted. With proper oversight, the counting of absentee and mail-in ballots should begin before Election Day so that government agencies can report vote totals on Election Night. Ballot harvesting should be banned in California, where it is legal, and bans should be vigorously enforced in the rest of the country, where ballot harvesting is illegal but still occurs. Ballot harvesting is the practice where party workers, with ballots, go to people, especially in places like nursing homes, and instruct them how to fill out these ballots and then turn the ballots into election officials. Many times, if the voter doesn't vote right, the harvester never turns it in. Policing is non-existent. Voting machines or equipment should be vigorously tested for proper functioning and the prevention of hacking before and after elections. There should be paper receipts and vote totals so they can't be tampered with. Voters who cast their ballots in person should show a photo ID, and requests for mail-in ballots should also include a copy of a photo ID. These changes are crucial to restore trust in our election process. I'm Steve Forbes. Thank you for listening. Do send in your comments or suggestions, and I look forward to being with you soon again. Ooh.